Hey Fire Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your Friday, the 11th of January 2019 love reading. <clears throat> this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Ari Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right, your guys' first card out is the Empress, the Six of Pentacles, and Justice. person you are dealing with has the world, the fool, and judgment. Your guys' outcome for Friday is the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Swords in Reverse, and the Seven of Cups. Your guys is bottom of the deck and shared energy. The king of wands. The three of wands. And the knight of swords in reverse. Uh, communication is going to be made from this person. If you have uh, not been talking to them. Um, or they're, they have either had you blocked. You blocked them. Um, however, the communication was severed. It will... Um, it will be made again. So you guys, um, you are looking pretty good. You're vibrating at a very high level. You are no longer concentrating and concerned about this connection. You are just sitting back and waiting, um, for this to come forward. Um, you're at a distance from somebody at the moment. Um, you know that, uh, time will bring the two of you together as long as you stay in this high vibration. Um, right now they're not coming forward cause they're not ready to tell you the truth or, uh, energies can be vice versa. Um, you are not accepting anything less than what you deserve anymore. Um, you could have been, uh, the, uh, the mistress at one point in time. Um, you had to share this person with somebody or you were the one with the third party. Um, and you're no longer putting up with that. You're no longer allowing yourself to be treated in that energy. Um, <clears throat> let's use the Crystal Visions Tarot. Why is this Empress here? So you're more concentrating on um, yourself. You are um, concentrating on creating a new life for yourself. You're concentrating on finding balance, on um, finding or balancing your karmic scales. Um, you're waiting for somebody to uh, possibly get divorced, but no longer are you willing to be that person that has to be in an unfair, imbalanced relationship. You're standing your ground, um, standing up for what you um, you need and you want, and you're no longer going to... Um, going to put up with that. You know your worth. Yeah, you're moving away from this imbalance. You're moving away from this person who has been sharing energy with other people besides yourself. You're moving away from this connection. Um, I mean, look at all this major arcana. This is insane. Five out of your six cards are major arcana already. Um, but you're moving forward, moving away, choosing yourself, choosing to love yourself, choosing um, to find balance again. I mean, you have the justice, the six of pentacles, justice. I mean, if that isn't balance, I don't know what is. And one more major arcana, all major arcana here for you guys. Justice with the world, um, ending a cycle that was unfair, ending unfair treatment, ending a, a relationship, ending a marriage, um, whatever it is, you are ending a major life cycle. Uh, and you are going to be able to find your balance again. The wheel of fortune is going to be turning, um, in your favor because you have dealt with your karma, dealt with your karmic lessons, karmic debts, and are now ready to move forward. Um, whether that be towards this person or away from this person, but it don't matter to you because you know, no matter what you do, you're going to be successful and you have a lot of passion for life. You're going to create something beautiful with that empress there. could be dealing with a Taurus, a Cancer. Uh, Libra. Yeah, lots of signs here. But um, the person you're connecting with, 
they uh, aren't allowing a life cycle of theirs to end just yet. There's something they have to take care of. There's something they have to do that they're not seeing um, that has to complete before they can end this cycle. Um, it has to do with possibly somebody that they are connected to, married to, in a relationship with. There's something here that they are out of balance. They have to allow that cycle to end before they can come forward and create something with you. They're wanting to take this leap of faith with you. They're realizing that um, that you are the relationship that they want. They're following their heart. They want to take a leap of faith with somebody that they love and somebody that loves them unconditionally. They could have went back to somebody else and they're realizing that that was a wrong decision. Whoa. Yeah, because the, the judgment is here um, in the upright. So this relationship will get a second chance after they finish um, getting over the depression of a relationship that failed. Um, they could have possibly went back to this person one last time. And um, they're realizing that there's nothing left here. There's nothing left. There's no love left. Um, and they're wanting to come back to you. Um, you have closed out this cycle with this person. You have um, ended the, the unfair treatment with justice here twice. Uh, they have to let their cycle end. You've already let yours end. Now they need to let theirs end. I do see you walking away from this connection um, because there's a lot of confusion. Uh, you held on for so long, um, but now you're wanting to cut yourself away from this person. Yeah, you know that in order for you to get this passionate new beginning that you have to move away from this old energy. Those cups are empty. You're walking away from something that is no longer there. If you come back into a relationship with this person, it's going to be new energy because the two of you are different now. You're ascending to a higher level of your uh, spirituality. And you know that with this Ace of Wands here, you're getting the uh, you're figuring out the idea as well that in order for you to get this balanced relationship, you have to walk away from it. Because it's not balanced the way it is now. Um, action is being taken or needed to be taken um, in order for you to manifest a relationship that you want. With the three of wands here in reverse now, this distance is going to close between the two of you. When you take action and cut yourself away from this connection and move forward, um, they're going to reach out to you. Because for one, they can feel your energy separating from theirs. For two... There was too much codependency on each other for happiness. They are just getting out of a relationship. Uh, they didn't want to get right back into a relationship that is controlling or expected too much out of them. And I do feel that that's uh, why they, they left. But now they're realizing, now that you are walking away, that they want uh, this relationship with you. With the Chariot and the Eight of Cups, you are moving away from this connection and moving towards something uh, moving towards a life that is more balanced, more equal, more, more about you and less about, um, having to share energy with somebody. There is a lot of confusion here with the seven of cups. Yes. You know, this is your soulmate, but they kept you in a constant state of confusion, promising you this new beginning, promising you, uh, this new start, this new life, but they were just doing that. So you would stay so you would stay, so you wouldn't leave, so they could have this second chance with you, but they weren't ready to complete this cycle with somebody else, so they had to tell you what they had to tell you in order to keep you to stay, and so you're confused on, well, you told me all this, why is it not here? Why? It's not here, I'm leaving. <clears throat> Any other messages? Yeah, you are speaking the truth of how you feel with the Page of Swords here, um, and you're not holding back. You have uh, been holding back on speaking your truth, speaking how you feel, because for one, they may have not have wanted to hear it. For two, you didn't want to say something and cause them to cut you off, cause you to, uh, to no longer have communication with this person. But you're to the point where you don't care anymore. You're going to tell them how you feel. And if you leave, go ahead. If you stay, well, then you know how I'm, I need it to be. And if it's not that way, I'll cut you out of my life just as fast. Um, they have to leave somebody that they have children with. That is what is their cycle. That is what has to happen in order for their major life cycle <clears throat> to, uh, to finish. So just be patient, continue to work on yourself. They also need to work on their self image, their self esteem, their self, uh, how they view themselves. 
uh, because they have a very low uh, self-confidence. But this is about um, working on yourself, weeding your own garden, protecting your own crops, um, and just getting through the uh, cultivating stage of this, of bringing this relationship back into fruition. Um, what truth aren't they speaking? Why aren't they coming forward? Yeah, so um, they're, they're not speaking the truth because they fear you won't give them a second chance. They fear that this won't come into fruition. They um, aren't speaking the truth because they're worried that if they apologize, you're not going to accept it. So they're just um, holding back. Stay, you know, some of you could be, not even have communication with this person at this time. Yeah, um, they need to end a relationship. They need to end a commitment. It's here over and over and over again. Before they can come towards you, before they can uh, close the distance out between the two of you, they have to leave um, a committed relationship or somebody that they're married to. Yeah. So um, you guys are just sitting back and waiting, waiting till they figure out that they're not stuck where they're at. They're not, you're not stuck anymore. You were stuck in this weight, but now you are just vibrating high and just, I mean, waiting for them to realize it, but you're not putting your life on hold anymore. You're going to um, have a life of love and abundance. And if that's not from them, then it's not meant to be is how you're feeling right now. You know that love's coming in for you. You know you can feel it, that a new beginning is starting, whether it's with this person or somebody else. So you have no fear um, anymore. You know that you are going to be blessed with a very loving uh, life, and you're not going to hold back <laughs> calling in your soulmate. So your prayers, affirmations, and dreams, uh, visualizations, affirmations, they all... Um, help bring you together. Um, you are, uh, being called to make the effort, take the steps, uh, that you are guided to take. Yeah. This is your soulmate. This is somebody that, um, is at a distance from you and involves a marriage. They have to leave a marriage before that this can come to, uh, come to what it's meant to come to fruition. So um, continue to work on yourself. Continue to call in that soulmate because this is your soulmate because they have some things they have to take care of, some major life cycles that have to end for them before this can come into a union. Um, this also will, um, this is a life partner. This is a soulmate. This will end in a marriage um, as soon as the two of you do come together. So, all right, Fire Science, that's what I have for you guys for Friday the 11th. Have a beautiful weekend and God bless.